craft class is one of the most interesting in recent memory. Not for its top-end talent, but rather its lack of it. It's hard to find a surefire all-star in this class, unlike past years when multiple players profiled as franchise cornerstones. Look at these players as the third, fourth, or fifth man on a team. Someone who isn't necessarily the star, but plugs in perfectly to a team and is a key contributor to winning. The freshman guard out of the University of Kentucky. Reed Shepard, 6'3 guard, Kentucky. 2023-2024 stats. 12.5 points, 4.5 assists, 2.5 steals, 53.6% FG, 52.1% three points, 83.1% FT. Strengths. Shepard had a great freshman season at Kentucky. Despite coming off the bench, he was one of the Wildcats' most impactful players. In a loaded Kentucky recruiting class that featured DJ Wagner, Justin Edwards and Rob Dillingham, it was Shepard who rose to college superstardom. The four-star recruit is the son of two former Kentucky basketball players and was Kentucky's Mr. Basketball in 2023. Looking at the stat sheet, the first thing that will jump out is Shepard's shooting percentages. He hit over 50% of all his catch-and-shoot jumpers. He showed the capability of getting his shot off from deep range, in transition as well as in the pick and roll. Reed's jump shot is textbook. He's balanced and has great form. He's not as creative off movement as his teammate, Dillingham, but he's efficient with his mechanics even under contest. Shepard's release will likely need to speed up a bit as he faces defenses at the next level, especially given his lack of size. A major part of Shepard's allure as a prospect is his defensive flashes. At 6'3", he's not a perfect defender, but he comes up with a lot of steals and blocks. Shepard has strong and quick hands on and off the ball. 2.5 steals a game with a 4.6% steal percentage are nothing to sniff at. He averaged 0.7 Dillingham, Shepard will come into the league as an undersized guard. At 6'3", Shepard will likely be asked to play point guard minutes even if his best position is likely an off-guard connector. Pass. His size wasn't a major issue at Kentucky, but against next-level athletes, Shepard, Shepard will likely it. have a tougher time Davis defensively due to his instead, lack of length. Foster had a that allows him to attack closeouts, but it's not too often that you see him create enough separation to create his own shot or paint touch. There were moments, like Kentucky's win over Mississippi State, where Shepard looked like a star in the making who could get his own shot off against tough defense, but it wasn't leave a bad taste in fans' mouths. In a first round, it was unlike Shepard to disappear in a big moment. Yet Oakland took him out of the game by going to a zone in which he never really attacked. It's just one game, but it supports some of the criticism people have for Shepard's upside as a go-to option offensively. Shepard still has some work. Shepard will need to clean them up nonetheless, as his size already puts him at a disadvantage. Spurs fit. San Antonio needs shooting immediately. Shepard is the best shooter in the class. He's also just a smart basketball player who has been super productive everywhere he's played. The Spurs need to start adding good basketball players to complement their superstar, Shepard fits the bill. Could Shepard become San Antonio's second coming of Derek White? An off-ball guard who can knock down threes, handle the ball in spurts and play sound defense would be a welcomed addition to the roster. Shepard would fit in well with the Spurs' up-tempo style of play. I can envision Reed grabbing a rebound and pushing the ball ahead to a streaking Wembanyama, or running the floor and hitting a transition three-pointer. In the half court, he'd fit in with the Spurs' heavy ball movement offense. He's a player who doesn't need the ball in his hands 24-7 to be effective. He's very Spursian in the way he plays. We've seen Kentucky players outperform their college capabilities when they get to the next level. It's harder to see that upside in Shepard's game but I've learned to never doubt Kentucky guards. Shepard doesn't have the highest upside in the draft, but he has one of the highest floors. If the Spurs end up with the Toronto Raptors pick in the 7-9 range, Shepard would be an ideal selection. Their second selection.